So everybody knows Uber is trying to become profitable. To that end, they announced just yesterday Uber Money. So in this video, I'm going to share with you what we know about Uber Money and how it may impact you. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down on whether I think Uber Money is good for drivers. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy, and today we're going to talk about Uber Money. It's been showing up in all the news feeds, and let's jump right in. So what is Uber Money? Let's look at what Uber is telling us. The head of Uber Money, Peter Hazelhurst, wrote that Uber Money is a team within Uber working on financial products and technologies that deliver additional value for the Uber community, all at Uber Speed. All right, all right. So I was surprised to find out that you know how in America here, we don't have to collect cash or credit cards, right? We're not taxis. We just, uh, it all goes through the app. Well, in 40% of Uber's network, the drivers still collect cash or, or credit cards. So part of the mission of Uber Money is to eliminate that so that all Uber drivers don't have to collect any, any cash. They also want to make it easier for uh, drivers to get their money that they've earned quickly. So here in the United States, of course, we have the, uh, the ability to cash out quickly. As you can see right here, I just pulled this yesterday. You just click on cash out and you can see on the second screenshot, the money is available immediately. So this is something that they want to bring to all the drivers. And all of this, I say, great, good on you. Number two, changes to Uber's credit card. So I was uh, reading an article um, on a website called One Mile at a Time. And I found out this interesting information about uh, what changes have been made to Uber's credit card uh, with the announcement of Uber Money. So as you see in this little screenshot here, we can see that before the announcement, uh, Uber was offering 4% back on dining, including Uber Eats, 3% on hotels, 2% back on online purchases, 1% back on everything else. And now what they're offering is 5% back on Uber. So when you take Uber rides, you're now getting 5% cash back, including Uber Eats. So that's the biggest uh, change. They've added Uber. So now they've made the Uber card really benefit people who use Uber. And then you get the same 3% back on dining, hotels, and airfare, 1% back on all the other uh, purchases. So they basically have made the card more beneficial to those of us who use Uber and any of the Uber uh, services. Number three, hello Uber Cash. So before the credit card offered actual cash rewards, right, cash back. Now, instead of getting cash back, you're getting Uber Cash, which basically means you're getting credits toward Uber purchases, right? So for example, if you got 5% back on an Uber ride, let's say you took a $100 Uber ride, you would get $5 in Uber cash, which you could then use on your next um, Uber ride, okay? So this applies to anything uh, within the Uber universe. As you can see here in the Wall Street Journal, um, that even includes um, helicopter rides. And what we find out is that uh, it costs $233 uh, to, to have a flight in Manhattan from the Goldman Sachs headquarters in Lower Manhattan uh, to JFK. Well, that would give you a 5% cash reward, uh, again, Uber cash, towards your next purchase. So number four, Uber's attempt at profitability. So I was reading another article in a publication called The Observer, and in that uh, article I found this very interesting quote. And this quote comes to us from Robert Johnson who's a professor of finance at Creighton University. Uh, he says, Uber operates in the ride-hailing, personal mobility, food delivery, freight, and driverless vehicles market, and is yet to exhibit a clear path to profitability in any of them. And all of these sectors face stiff competition. The firm has proven it can grow revenues, but has also proven adept at growing costs. So this continues to be the issue with, with both Uber and Lyft. Uh, Uber notoriously recently reported a $5 billion loss in, uh, their, in a single quarter, in three months. So 
This is an attempt for them to get into another niche, another uh, expansion of, of their universe in an attempt to become profitable. So key takeaways for drivers. If you're a driver in the United States, we already get, uh, we already have uh, cashless uh, transactions, right? It's all done through the app. So for us, meh. But for the rest of the world, the 40% that don't, if they become cashless, that's really good for the drivers. Uh, same with being able to cash out quickly. Uh, so you work, you work a day, you make $100, $200, whatever you make, boom, you can put it right into your bank account. I love that feature for the drivers that are in other parts of the world where they don't have that available, and now it's going to become available. Um, great, that is just fantastic. As far as Uber uh, making their credit card now uh, Uber Cash, where you get Uber Cash rewards, it's very similar, reminiscent of, of Apple to me. Apple, you know, has created their own ec ecosystem and they try and keep you in, right? So you use only Apple products. So I'm okay with that because I love Apple. Same with Uber. You know, when I travel, when I'm in Paris and I'm using Uber all the time, uh, other countries, I don't mind getting Uber cash because I do use Uber. So if you're an Uber customer, that's fine. I think it's, I think it's great. And it's also good for drivers because if more people are using Uber Cash, there's gonna be more demand for Ubers, and that's going to be in your market more demand. That means surge could go up. That means less wait time in between rides. So overall, I give this a thumbs up. Good for Uber for you know, expanding what they can offer to people. And um, you know, who knows? At some point, Uber, I think, is going to figure out something that really can turn a profit much the way that Amazon you know, was not profitable for such a long time and then boom, they became hugely successful. Um, Uber keeps experimenting, trying different things and eventually I believe, I don't have a crystal ball, but I believe they'll eventually come onto something just, just because they're Uber and they're a leader and they're bold and they're innovative and go Uber. Good on you for giving it that try and going for it. So. This is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. Thank you for watching the video. And if you like the video, give it a like, uh, share a comment, what you think about Uber money. What do you think about the idea of having a credit card that doesn't give you actual cash rewards, but Uber cash rewards instead? And if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, subscribe, join our team. We put out three to four pieces of content a week. Stay up to date on everything that's happening in the industry, the rideshare industry. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. Be safe out there. I'll see you on the road.